with at least 58 people now dead. More than 500 people wounded in a horrific shooting on the Las Vegas Strip. It's the deadliest mass shooting in modern United States history. Police say a 64-year-old Nevada man, you see his picture there, named Stephen Paddock, opened fire last night on a country music festival. He opened fire from the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Hotel across the street from the concert hall. Police say he was armed with at least 10 rifles from that vantage point. Country music star Jason Aldean was playing for thousands of fans, 22,000 fans, just after 10 p.m. last night, Sunday night, when the gunman began unloading hundreds of rounds into the crowd. A concert goer captured the video of that moment. We need to warn you, of course, it's extremely upsetting, both to watch and to hear. Some at the concert thought it was firecrackers, some thought it was something wrong with the audio. They say it took them just a few moments to realize what was happening. And there was a sound like it was pyro, like it was pyro misfiring. I was like, why, was it, why, why is there pyrotechnics going off now? It was like, tit 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 And then a few minutes later, a few seconds later, it was tit 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 And when it didn't stop, we all realized what was happening and, and the sound. Um, not only was it the sound, but it was also the shells that were actually coming down, bullets coming down on the deck of the stage. The eyewitnesses say the gunshots continued for 10, perhaps 15 minutes. Fans describe utter chaos in those moments. Panicked people desperately running for their lives, trying to find some place to hide. But the gunmen just kept shooting from the broken window. You can see in the picture there, that's floor 32 of the Mandalay Bay. Law enforcement finally able to break into that hotel room using explosives on the door. Police found the shooter dead, presumably of a self-inflicted wound. Police say they believe he was working alone. The FBI just moments ago saying no connection has been found between the gunman and any international terrorist group. President Trump spoke a short time ago calling this an act, quote, of pure evil and saying so many families now just shattered. Hundreds of our fellow citizens are now mourning the sudden loss of a loved one, a parent, a child, a brother or sister. We cannot fathom their pain. We cannot imagine their loss.